What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kenyo Poetry Live on the Saved Over Success episode. I'm your host, Kenyo. The theme of this episode is America. That's right, America. I'm going to read three poems, and then I have two poems that I'm going to share with you by really amazing um, poets. But as we usually do, uh, I'm going to do my shares first. So I'm going to show you my screen so you can get in there. Share this with me this morning. Get your shares in there. We're going to have a really good episode today. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope that you guys are having a whole bunch of fun. I love being on the Saved Over Success Network. It pumps me up. As soon as I start the episode, I'm like, oh man, I'm speaking to an audience of people that loves to be encouraged. How could I not? Saved Over Success started by Jania Moore. Let's open this up. Let's see. Boom. Let's do this one. Let's throw that on there. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to add a new one because I don't think you guys can see the one that I'm doing. Window capture. Oh, I don't need to tell you all the behind the scenes. If you guys ever want to know how to go live, um, I actually do some, some classes for... Um, I mean, I, I do some assistance with my company, Project Forward, that, that helps um, entrepreneurs get started and stuff like that. So if you guys are ever interested in any of that, head over to Project Forward and check out what we're doing over there. Okay, very cool. So let me share this with you so you can see what I'm working with. Share this with all your friends and family. Who should I share it with first? Let's see. Let me jump over here. The post is should be right. Let's refresh this. Hope you guys are ready for some really cool poetry. Today's going to be pretty interesting. I have a, a poem by Andrea Bocap Sanderson that I'm going to share. She's one of the great. The one, she's she's definitely right now the most famous poet. Uh, in San Antonio. Maybe the second most famous poet, because we do have a poet laureate. Um, but in my mind, she's the most famous poet right now. And then we also, I also have a poet by, a poem by another incredible poet in San Antonio, um, which is Rooster Martinez. Okay, so right now, I'm going to do some shares. This is my live stream, so I just go over to the Saved Over Success page. Boom, I'm going to share this to... Let's see. I'm going to share it to my, my page, my Kenyo page, my Kenyo page on Facebook. Let's get it over there. You guys can also head over there if you want to see new poetry by me. Hey, guys. I'm live on the Saved Over Success. Okay, come on, spell check. This is why we have you. Saved Over Boom Success Network. So I'm going to share that right there. Done. I'm going to share it. I don't usually share stuff on my personal timeline, but I feel like today is a special day. I'm in a good mood. So I'm going to share this one on my personal timeline to all my, all my homies, all my friends from all over the world. Hey, guys. A video of me. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. Check it out. Um, boom. That's out there. And then I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this on the Project Forward page. Oh, Thomas Bryant, just saw your comment. Thanks for jumping in on there. Uh, I'm going to share this on the Project Forward page. How about that? Let me see where we at, where we at. Share on a page. If you guys didn't know, like, there's really cool. A lot of people are using all the tools on Facebook. This is half a poetry show, half a show about going live. You guys are going live with me. Um, this isn't my go live with Kenyo show, but this is Kenyo Poetry Live. So I want to show you guys all these cool things that Facebook does because they're putting the power in our hands. You can share on your timeline, a friend's timeline. Stop sharing stuff on your friend's timeline, people, if it has nothing to do with them. That's not what it's for. And I'm gonna <laughs> you can share it in a group. You can share it in an event. I'm going to share it on a page, which is the Project Forward page. Um, there's also Project Forward Los Angeles, Dallas, and San Marcos for those of you who live in different places. So it's a global thing. But I'm going to share it here, and then I'll share it later on some other places. I'm going to do watch. I'm going to tag myself. I'm going to tag my page. If you guys know me, I like it when my page gets tagged, not my personal profile. Watch Kenyo um, on the Saved Over Success Network. Let's do that. Boom. 
Thanks, Thomas Bryan, again for jumping in. All right, so that's done. So we're done with shares. Now let, let's get in. Let's get into. Uh, let's get into some poetry. You guys excited to hear some poems? I acted like I was going to hear you say back, but you can always comment. So get in the comments. Even if you're watching this um, after the live stream, get in the comments. And let me know. Like, hype me up. Say some stuff. Be like, yo, man, I watch this every week. I watch it six times a day. Look, like, I'd be like, whoa, you're, you're doing it. You're doing it. So I'm going to read. Um, I, have, I have three poems for you guys today, actually. I'm going to start with. Uh, a poem I recently wrote, which is, um, which I've sort of tentatively titled America. Um, because I think about America all the time, and I think right now we're like wondering what it is, like who are we? Um, what's really going on? Like, um, and uh, I think sometimes, you know, like we can get so caught up in, in everything going on, we think we're on different teams, but like, you know, like America, it's not anything that we can't define for ourselves because we're in this pot together. And so I'm going to read this short poem first, which kind of is what America is to me, which really, I, when I boil it down, America is a couple things to me right now in my mind. It's faith and it's growth. You know, we love growth. We love and we, and we need faith. You know, those two things is really what keeps America moving towards, um, I think, um, its place and it's not a place that we're entitled to. Um, it is because everyone's entitled to blessings, but also it's not because if we lose focus, it doesn't mean we have to be victorious. We don't have to be number one. But if we focus on growth, we focus on faith, that's where we're headed. We're heading to, to stay number one and to be a leader for other people. Um, and just like, you know, being a king or being uh, a president or being anything, like, number one, what that really is about and what, America being number one has always been about is because um, we use our power to help other people. That's what kings do. It's what presidents do. You're supposed to be using your powers. If you're a boss, if you're a, a leader in your community, you use your power to uplift the people around you. That's what that's for. So this poem is about uh, just a cool idea of you know America to me. The people I see carry cafes and strip malls like wallets and handkerchiefs. And they wonder why we huddle tightly around the Americanization of reality. Each and every one of us are supermen, at least. Heroes often enough to expose our weaknesses. Industry is our morning coffee. Our sweat strips commerce from growth like hydraulic mines. We don't sleep, we rest briefly on the shoulders of our estate managers before aggressively witnessing sunrise. Clouds are humanized daily, heights from which what, if not to witness the error of our ways, but also not forgetting tomorrow, new opportunities to turn the tide our way. And you have the audacity to call me a charlatan for reading poems on this stage? This is what a black man reading poems looks like. And I know most people don't care if I'm black at all, just one dude in some corner who's gonna sleep less tightly than run wild and share his anger with 10 more people. CNN is worse than Facebook, all working together trying to make us forget that conversation is settled and eye contact is exclusive. And I have 20 people waiting to talk about uh, who I am because my identity is authenticity. Woo! That's that poem. That's that poem. I'm used to hearing applause after a good poem. So, <laughs> so you guys can do the applause by hitting those likes. I thank you guys for the comments. Um, thank you guys so much for the comments. I see Lamont Williams. Uh, thank you for jumping in the comments. Greta Mackey. You you've been you've been here since episode number one. You you keep coming in here, dropping comments. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna jump into the first the first poet I want to share with you, which is gonna be um, is I'm gonna do Andrea Vocab Sanderson first, if that's okay with y'all. Um, not that if it wasn't okay with you, you would have any mechanism to tell me that with, but um, so let's do. Let's do that. 
I want to make sure that this is sized correctly for you so you can see I'm producing this for y'all. Let's get over there. Uh, Andrea Vocab Sanderson. This is um, a video clip. Ooh, I don't want to let you see my messages. This is a video clip. Um, it's shared on the Project Forward page, but this video footage was um, produced by Progress Studios. Uh, Progress with one S here locally uh, in San Antonio. Global, beautiful art company. So thank you, Progress Studios. You can go over to their page like I did. Um, you can go to their page on Facebook. You can just type in so you can see what it looks like. I'll do it. Progress Studios. There it is right there. It's on the top. Progress Studios. So you can just type that in and you'll be able to find them. But um, this is Andrea Bocap Samuelson reading this poem at the McNay Museum. Check this out, y'all. <laughs> I am that. I am an army stone, black bone, soul drone to midnight dreary. My soul is a weary kind of blues, and you know me for my ebony hues. Negra, soon like Solomon, the wisest king, with a pigment from the descendant of a chocolate crescent bean. I am the death of Africa's dream. Do you see me gleam? Shining a fluid monsoon, Negra soon I am bellowing cold, smoky soul, both young and old, just depending on the century you first got a glimpse of me, the obscure regions of the earth were told of my destiny. I grew from the continent of mahogany into a bloom, Negra soon just. <laughs> Mention me to Cairo Sands, echoing the song of the mother land, walking hand in hand with Pharaohs and Abraham. I could buy pushing, push the seeds of Noah in the land, wiping with the words from my lips. I am the darkness of every solar eclipse from January until June. Negra soon, you presume to know my fate. Sit with me at the Passover table. See, I was able to break bread with the eleven. I kissed the Lamb of Heaven just before he was betrayed in Gethsemane that day. When the sky was pitched from gray, I was the one that sprayed the garment with my tears. It was the color of fears and doom. Negra soon like the daughters of Jerusalem. Gathering to be brides and concubines, fell in brown eyes for the wild one. He was scorched by the sun, double coated and sable with rose sweets with that molasses and no maple. I too am hewn just like their room, Negra soon, like the inside of tombs, like iron and fumes, like a licorice perfume, like the bottom of a lagoon. I am black. But comely, Negra, soon my skin is baked and burnt. Melanin burst with the ink of my pen. I am in the abyss of every woman waiting to be burned as light from her womb. From the divinity uterus, I am exhumed, consumed in the richness of raven shades. Bad clay make the frame of my being. I am the blanket overseeing the night as it dances across the expanses of the hemispheres. It is clear that I too have been touched by the sun so much that I can absorb the very breath of the moon. Negra soon, Negra soon, for we must all learn to love the skin that our God put us in, even with this world would call us dirty Mexicans, even with this world would condition us to hate it, to berate it, to negate it. Don't you dare hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that was Andrea Vocab Sammy. It's gonna try to play another poem. Facebook is, is is getting to that level where they're trying to do the most. Okay. So the next poem we're gonna have up is gonna be Rooster Martinez and I'll open that in just a second. But not yet. Did you guys like that? If you like that, head over to uh to Andrea's page and give her a couple give her a couple likes. She deserves it. She's a super awesome poet. Let me switch this back. Um, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Shoot, that was at the McNay, which is a really great uh, museum here uh, in San Antonio. Um, and like, it was crazy. I was there, and I was—I think I was actually <laughs> filming that one for Progress Studios because I work closely with them. 
Um, so yeah, that, that was, that, that was really cool to be able to be there and witness that. Um, and it had the America flashing back cause they were actually doing that day. Um, they were doing a, um, a kind of memorial, not memorial, but they were doing, um, an homage, a, uh, they were doing a special thing for, um, black, um, the, the, black people in America, which was really cool. And so I was super hyped up to be there and I was super hyped up that they were doing that. Um, loved it, loved it, loved it. I'm gonna read another poem for you guys. Um, um, do you have any requests? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you have a poem of mine that you like, that you want me to read, um, I know some of you might have heard my 2018 poem a few times. Um, that's the poem that I've been reading almost everywhere that I've been this year. Uh, I've been able to read it at the NAACP um, event that went down at the uh, Henry B. Gonzalez Center. I, I recently, most recently, I just read it at um, Chris Delaney, who who ran, who he runs um, he runs a, a company called Street Indie Music. Um, a, a music label. He had a music festival, uh, and I I was able to read it there. So I really love sharing that poem, and and I I think I shared it in a couple episodes ago. But if you guys get in there and you're like, hey, we want to hear this poem again, I'll read it again. Why? Because um, I'm trying to level myself up and get like more fans and stuff like that. So I'll definitely do whatever it is that. Um, whatever it is that people who are kind enough to support what I do, I'll definitely, you know, take that into account and, and, and share some stuff, especially if it's speaking to you. Or if you have anything that, like, if you guys hear about stuff that's going on, one thing I like to use my poetry for is as, like, a voice of the people. So if you guys have stuff that you think is going on or a, a place that you want me to come out to and hang out with and, and read some stuff, let me know. Um, I'll, I'll be there. I'll share some poetry make some power moves, make some stuff happen. Art has the ability to make change. And I love, I love doing that. I love using these moments um, to do something beautiful and creative. So this time I'm going to play some music and I'm going to read my poem over the music. This is um, a, little, a little beat that I produced myself. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Um, this poem is also a little bit about America to me, and I think um, one thing about America to me is like it's like we're all doing this hustle thing, and I, I, I like to think about um, the fact that teams are super important. And I'm like, I, I, I think we have this idea of ourselves as really strong people in America, and it's like, so what do we look for? Like, when we're looking for other strong people on our team. And I love collaborating. I'm collaborating with Jania Moore. You know, from Saved Over Success Network, and I'm collaborating with Jamie Terrazas of Rise Above TV, and I'm, you know, I collaborate with Andrea, who's, who's, who's the poem I just read, you know, and I like to collaborate with Growing the Power Together, and I'm going to play a poem from their channel by Rooster Martinez. So I collaborate with a lot of people, and when I'm looking for different people, it's like, what is it that I'm looking for? So I was thinking about that when I wrote this poem. It goes like this. If you want to be on my team, I have a few basic rules. It starts with confidence, a basic sense of security, unafraid and trusting all the bodies in the presence of your entity. I'm not asking you to walk on water, but at least believe enough to be set free from drowning in your consciousness, because I will not be pulled down by your lack of understanding. It's not for me. It's really because the people on my team are here to save people. Our arms are linked to create a foundation for the restructuring of history, reaching forward into the next generation. So I ask you, even if it's too much for me to ask for you to believe in yourself, at least believe in the rest of us, that we all got together not to watch you fail and put you on trial, but because we see weaknesses as war medals. 
And whether you've been lucky enough to avoid the front lines or you've lost limbs and tasted shrapnel, the war is not being fought against you. So charge up your bravery in the numbers of this army. I love that. Charge up your bravery in the numbers of this army. The next and final rule is do. I need you to do things. Take classes. Teach classes. Interview me. Write a comment on a post. Perform at a show. Open your heart to all the people and all the in-betweens because of because the speed of our collective actions determines the distance traveled toward our destiny. Don't spend a single moment allowing the privilege of your intelligence to be wasted on perfectionism and hesitation. Did you know that nobody who has ever loved has once looked back on three years ago and remembered the number of grammatical errors in books that were never published? Does that make sense? People can't look at your errors if you never put it out there. Or the slip brush strokes on paintings that were never hung? We didn't see it. We're not judging it. Write a book and publish it. Paint pictures and hang them. Write songs and sing them in as many places that will have you because there are so many places that are begging for you. So many minds that are limping through life looking for just one hint that there are still types of light that could reach them. In truth, I don't have rules for being on my team. Time after time, I find myself too consumed by the blessings of a living human spirit to do anything except accept them. But I do have goals. I have desires. My heart burns in the furnace of my ambition. If I'm going to reach out to you with my voice, my words, and my energy, then I hope you will reach back so we can build a better world together. That's that poem. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the little music thing, too. That was that was pretty fun to be able to do. Um, yes. Once again, I'm Kenyo. You guys are watching Kenyo Poetry Live on the Saved Over Success Network. It's been a super pleasure bringing this to you. I think because of time, I'm actually just going to share one more one more poem with you. Um, and this, this poem is by Rooster Martinez. He recorded it um, with Growing Empowered Together. Um, this was in a in a beautiful studio. I host sh some shows for them. Um, I think the episode that's coming up next with them that I hosted was me, Drew Galloway, and um, Beth. I don't remember Stevens. Woo! I remembered Beth Stevens, and um, we we talked about um, number one, getting millennials to vote. Um, but they're both very powerful, influential people in in. Um, political and, and law fields, and they, they talked about volunteering and some really cool stuff. So that was by Growing Empowered Together. This um, poem I'm going to sh share with you is from an episode where I interviewed Rooster, actually. Um, I interviewed Rooster and another local poet who I'm not going to try to remember her name because I will fail. Um, but she she was, um, they were both super awesome, and I loved this, this reading by... Um, this reading by Rooster, and I think he does such a good job of putting um, certain social of using his of using his platform to put social issues out there. So I'm going to share this this poem with you, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to close out the show. I loved this episode of Kenya Poetry Live. We are the number one poetry show in the world. If there's another one, share it with me. But anyway, let me let me hit you guys with this one. And I'll see you in just a second. After watching James Baldwin's I'm Not Your Negro at the Art House Cinema, theater lights go up. An audience is brought out of darkness and suddenly everyone is an activist. Everyone is wearing berets. The theater clears. Patrons empty out like spilled popcorn. We mobilize in the parking lot. We are hopeful. We are loving. Everyone is in agreement that things have to change and suddenly someone plays What's Going On by Marvin Gaye on their iPhone. We want the art we just witnessed to live on us or in us like justice. We want the violence that lives on us, off us. The men of color speak out first, organizing a resistance. And suddenly, a white woman disagrees with the course of action, says it's not enough bang for her buck, but men of color are tired of things that go bang. So they quiet up enough that they are, again, seemingly invisible in our city. 
The Latinos light enough to slink away into the purple of night do so. Wouldn't want to risk their social and economic currency. These compadres in chic clothing sleep believing this conversation is beneath them or not about them. None of the activists noticed anyway their exit was almost expected. A Chicana suggests a march and suddenly everyone has on walking shoes. A black woman suggested the same thing only a second ago only nobody took it seriously then. Thought maybe she was just mad so best not go there with her. But see, everyone swears by their history that they are without sin until stones start flying. Someone says the word racist and suddenly a white man doesn't say anything for fear of being labeled anything other than himself. Shrinks back to a safe distance but swears he still knows what's up. Minutes passed and we are further from what lit us on fire. A millennial tweets the convo and suddenly the dialogue becomes digital. The war for equality gets carried out in the comment section. A hashtag is born. Hashtag stay woke, stay woke, stay woke. And somewhere I hear what might be cicadas. Out early because of climate change. But I swear, it almost sounds like rich men laughing in the bushes. And suddenly the feds who were there the whole time unknowingly to the rest of us say we should plan to meet another day. And suddenly half the people agree while the other half nod knowing they'll probably be too busy. And although James Baldwin was homosexual, everyone failed to realize there was not a queer perspective injected into the conversation or perhaps they had, but nobody paid attention and left hours ago. And suddenly it's late and suddenly it feels too late and suddenly the conversation stops and everyone recedes into the evening feeling like better people and suddenly I am alone and suddenly I notice a black woman standing next to me perhaps there the whole time but I miss her presence I apologize for my blind spots and she says so what should we do now and suddenly I wish I knew what to tell her Bars. <laughs> that was Rooster Martinez, guy, uh, guys, and uh, that was this is, a, this is a poem that you can find again if you want to. Just look up um, "Growing in Power Together" on Facebook. Um, I think what I'm gonna just start doing in, in like a couple episodes is I'm gonna like have a guest with me. Like I don't know, I'm gonna like have, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a guest with me. I'll probably do the show in a different location. You guys won't get to see this beautiful white wall that has been my background for the first I don't know why I'm touching the wall like that um, for, for these last three episodes um, but I want to keep bringing new and interesting stuff to you guys because I'm loving this shout out to the saved over success network you can see their logo I always do that their logos right there um, I'm Kenyo my logos right there poet entrepreneur it's been a pleasure it's been an absolute it's been an absolute pleasure Thank you so much for being here with me at Kenyo Poetry Live. We're back. We're back, guys. The show that was born over two years ago now. Actually, it's almost exactly two years ago. It was born on August 3rd, 2016, here in San Antonio. We did the live show, and now we're back on Facebook, even more live because of you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.